Hey everybody, welcome to the shop. My name is Jameson and today I'm gonna to walk you through the inventory, setup, and test run of the G0948 10 inch bandsaw. Let's get started. With the machine out of the box, it's time to do an inventory. Pause here and you'll see a full list of what's included. With the inventory complete, it's time to look at placing the machine. Now this is an open stand design, so that actually makes it really useful for something like a mobile base. And I'll put a link in the description below to a good option. Now, one of the main considerations that you wanna take here is, well, power. And that's a 110 volt, 15 amp circuit. So any household plug-in should do the job. The big consideration with machine placement in this case is actually the in-feed and out-feed side, depending on the work pieces you intend to run. So that's your big consideration. And now let's jump into the assembly. The first step is placing a rubber foot on the bottom of each leg. Use the short brace to connect the stand legs, then repeat for the other side. Now it's time to connect the leg assemblies. Use the long braces to connect each side. With the help of an assistant, we're ready to place the machine. So let's get it on top of the stand and bolt it down. Remove the pre-installed hex bolts from the underside of the table and head on over to the saw. Use the four hex bolts removed earlier to connect the table to the trunnion. With the table on the machine, it is now time to square that table to the blade. And that means a machine is square. So you want to lift your blade guides all the way to the up position and place your machine square on the table. And then we'll adjust, if needed, we'll adjust our indicator. So to loosen it, we unscrew it, realign it with the zero degree, make sure it's squared to the blade, and you're set. Next, we'll install the fence with the wing bolts that are included. This style of fence actually does need to be removed when changing the blade later on. However, it does keep even pressure on the table to keep it nice and flat during operation. Now, let's put the fence on. We're not worried about calibrating the fence just yet. That actually is a chapter in the manual itself. So feel free to take a look at that on the calibration with the blade. To mount the fence to the rail, simply seat it, push down, lock it in place. So before we jump into a test run, you can actually connect dust collection to the machine. This machine has several sizes available in the dust port, which is a two inch, three inch, and four inch option. For each one of those sizes, we do recommend a different CFM of dust collection. So for the two inch, that's 100 CFM. For the three inch, that is a 250 CFM. And for the four inch, it's 400 CFM. Those are just our recommendations and the more, the better. So we have one final step before we get into the test run, and that is the initial blade tracking. To track this blade, you want it dead center of the actual wheel. How do you do that? Well, start by loosening your guides top and bottom. With the blade guides moved aside, it's time to tension the blade. So that is done with this knob up top. This will tension your blade or decrease the tension. And once that's set, it's time to move on to the back side of the machine where this knob actually allows you to move the wheel in and out. That slight amount of movement will move the blade across the width of the wheel. Remember, you're going for dead center of this style of wheel. And once you're there, lock everything down and you're good to go. Then return to your blade guides and ensure that they're in the proper position and you're ready for test run. The next step is the test run. And we wanna ensure that everything is off the table and away from the blade. And then we're gonna turn it on. Let the machine get up to speed and then turn it off. When the machine is fully stopped, remove paddle safety switch key and try it again. The machine should not start. And if it does start, please call our tech support line for assistance. 
With the test run complete, you're now ready for operation. And you can follow the instructions in the manual for things like blade tensioning, blade to fence adjustment and alignment, and also miter gauge adjustments. And thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing to Grizzly Industrial.